subscapularis tendon rupture. The subscapularis muscle is a large muscle that originates on the anterior surface of the scapula and lies in front of the shoulder. The subscapularis muscle is the largest of the four rotator cuff muscles and it provides about 50% of the total cuff strength. The subscapularis muscle inserts into the lesser tuberosity, while the other rotator cuff muscles have an insertion into the greater tuberosity. The biceps tendon lies in the groove and is held in place by the transverse humeral ligament. Ultrasound examination. Usually the probe is placed transversely over the bicipital groove to identify the groove and the biceps tendon while the arm is in a neutral position. The arm is then externally rotated to view the subscapularis tendon. Here you can see the arm being externally rotated. The subscapularis muscle functions as an internal rotator and acts as a dynamic stabilizer of the humeral head. The subscapularis muscle is supplied by the upper and lower subscapular nerves. The upper and lower subscapular nerves originate from the posterior cord of the branchial plexus. Causes include anterior shoulder dislocation. A fall onto an outstretched arm during abduction is usually the mechanism of injury. Rupture may also occur following anterior shoulder surgery. In traumatic situations, a subscapularis tendon avulsion can be associated with avulsion of the lesser tuberosity. A subscapularis tear may also be associated with a rotator cuff tear. Diagnosis Tears are rare and can either be chronic or acute. Patients will have pain, anterior shoulder swelling, decreased range of motion, and weakness of internal rotation. The patient will also have an increase in passive external rotation. Diagnosis of a subscapularis tear could be difficult and may be missed. With complete rupture of the subscapularis tendon, the transverse humeral ligament will become torn, causing medial dislocation of the biceps tendon from its groove. Clinical Diagnostic Tests for Subscapularis Tendon Rupture Lift-Off Test The patient places the hand behind their back at the lumbar level and lifts the hand away from the back with an intact subscapularis tendon. If the patient is unable to lift the hand off the lower back, then a tear of the subscapularis tendon is suspected. Lift off lag test. The examiner will hold the patient's hand away from the back at the lumbar region and let go. The patient will be unable to keep the hand away from the back if the tendon is torn. Belly press test. The patient presses the palm of the hand against the abdomen with the wrist in a neutral position. This is an example of an intact subscapularis tendon. A positive sign for the belly press test occurs if the patient is unable to press his belly without wrist volar flexion or the elbow falling posteriorly. Belly off test. The shoulder is placed in flexion and maximum internal rotation. The examiner positions the patient's hand on the belly while holding the flexed elbow. If the tendon is ruptured, the patient will not be able to maintain this position and the hand will lift off the abdomen when the examiner lets go. Radiological examination. Tear can be diagnosed by MRI or ultrasound. Treatment. Complete tear. Surgical repair. Repair may be either open or arthroscopic. Biceps tenodesis during repair is associated with improved outcomes. Biceps tenodesis is usually done if the biceps is involved in the process. Otherwise, subluxation of the bicep will stress and fail the repair. Chronic muscle tear. Pectoral major muscle transfer is the procedure of choice.
Oh, wow. This liftoff test looks like more fun. Hello, Doctor. That liftoff was a bit bumpy, and now I think I tore something in my shoulder. Once this ride's done, can I get an appointment? Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.